Hi guys, welcome to Second Perspective. Uh, my name is Paul Westing, and today I will be doing the first ever solo review for QQ. Um, the film I'll be doing is called The Second Mother. Uh, it was released this year. Um, it's actually in uh, the Vancouver International Film Festival, where is, which is where I saw it. Um, it's directed by Anna Moyert. Uh, hopefully I said that correctly. Uh, it is a Brazilian foreign film. And um, I actually thought the synopsis on IMDb was uh, well put, so I'm actually just going to take it right from there. Uh, and what it says is, When the estranged daughter of a hard-working live-in housekeeper suddenly appears, the unspoken class barriers that exist within the home are thrown into disarray. Um, it is, uh, it's an interesting film. Um, as it says, it's about a, the main character is called Val, uh, and she's in a live-in housekeeper. Um, there are a few distinct strengths of this film. Um, two that stand out right away is the uh, performances of Val and the daughter. Um, they both give very strong, uh, performances. Um, the amount of love that just comes out of Val is just, um... It puts a smile on my face whenever I see it. Um, it's quite cool that way. Um, another thing that I really quite enjoy about this film that I hadn't seen in a lot of other films lately is that it was very clear on what it wanted to be, um, definitely on a sort of a thematic level. Um, my understanding of this film is that it was it's a film about... The film is about the small joys and the small battles of life um, and how often they're uh, very symbolic and usually the most important. Um, the, another thing is, one aspect of the cinematography is really interesting. Uh, for the first, say, like half hour before the daughter comes in, um, it's very restrictive. Uh, all the shots are still, they're all on tripo uh, tripods. Um, and what's also really interesting is that when the camera's in a room, you only usually see uh, a certain half of the room. Um, and it's, and it's really interesting, the shots are long, and it feels sort of claustrophobic and as if you're not allowed to see certain parts of each room because a lot of this takes uh, takes place in a house um, and I think it's quite indicative of how the character feels, Val, um, and it's only when the daughter comes that the camera actually begins to even start to move, um, that being in like a, a steady cam kind of way, um, all of a sudden in the shots where the daughter is, um, all of a sudden, like a living room that you hadn't, uh, that you've been in a number of times, you only see one angle of it. All of a sudden, you see the flip side, um, and so the director uses a really uses cinematography in a very clever way to sort of really signify the two sort of differences between the two main characters, um, and it's it's quite interesting in that capacity. Um, one of the weaknesses, however, uh, comes from the cinematography, which I found kind of interesting, and in how the close-ups are just, they're extremely off-putting, they're weird, um, they look off, and I, and I, and I don't know exactly why, um, the person I saw the film with said the exact same thing as well, um, and not only that, but they also came at, um, rather strange times, um, most of the film, um, for like the first 45 minutes are all in like very sort of wide shots, they're long, and then in one particular scene, all of a sudden the camera punches in into a character in an angle we've never even seen before, um, and it's a close-up, and it's just, it kind of jars you, and um, you sort of lose what the whole point of that scene is, because you're kind of distracted by cinematography, because it goes from a wide for the first 45 minutes, and then it punches in, uh, and it does a close-up of one character, a close-up of another, a close-up of the other one, and it comes back, and it's just, it's very, um, I can see sort of in a, on a scene level why it would bring that up, because it was a relatively important moment but it just it's it was very jarring and the shot itself looked very strange um the other weakness that i thought the film had and I, I think it has a lot to do sort of with my taste more than anything is that um for all how well it was written and everything that it was done well um i was mostly just slightly amused um, for the most part, I only I never really laughed out loud. There was maybe one or two moments, um, and I had I had a slight smile on my face for most of the film. Um, nothing, and I, I think a big reason for this was that the themes um, that the film were talking about didn't resonate with me. 
Um, and the film, in my experience, didn't do anything to sort of really pull me in and grab me and try to really um, get me to connect and resonate with the story. Um, I feel like the only way to really be enthralled by this film uh, is to be sort of naturally attracted uh, to the themes of, uh, of social class disparity um, and sort of familiar issues, familial issues of power. And um, these are not themes that necessarily strike a chord with me. Uh, so overall, I would give it a grade of a B. Um, my instinct was to give it a B minus, but I, I I am aware that it is well done, and I there were certain people um, that did laugh a lot during the film and so on and so forth. I saw this in a venue of something like eighteen hundred uh, seats, and it was fairly full. Um, it's doing really well on IMDb, um, so I think that this is a sort of a film that you just have to know of whether um, I would I would recommend seeing this film if you know that you resonate with um, sort of kitchen sink films or um, films that or, or or if you connect to the things that I mentioned before that being um, so sort of social class disparity and um, sort of issues with um, sort of relational issues of power within family um, that being because the film is about an estranged daughter coming to see her mom for the first time and you know there's you know, as daughter doesn't doesn't always necessarily um, connect with her mom uh, or or even listen to her mom necessarily. I mean, uh, Jessica, the daughter, calls um, her mother Val for most of the film. So um, that's you know, that's I I would sooner go see something else if uh, these things don't necessarily connect with you. Um, thank you uh, for watching the first ever solo uh, video of QQ. Um, again, this is Seconds Perspective. I'm Paul Weston, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.